So, painted on a study trip is, um, is um, actually started from um, a set of questions uh, related to uh, the idea of the role of art and uh, the power equation, uh, the equation of power dynamic uh, and power struggle in certain time and place. Uh, a set of questions that uh, I think many, many artists in uh, at that Right now, they were actually struggling and still dealing with it in a different way, uh, to an extent that was actually blocking the creativity of some of them. And I, I was actually, I was one of these artists. And um, it just things started basically when I uh, encountered, uh, when, when I visited the uh, Alexandria uh, Fine Art Museum, uh, which is newly, op recently opened. Uh, to the public, and I, I saw the, um, a painting, a 19th century painting for, um, for an artist and his assistant uh, going, to, going out in the nature, and it's called Painter on a Study Trip. And uh, it's, it's basically it's this piece um, where we can see it in, in this artwork, which is it's called Process, titled Process. Um, Basically, the, the work, the painting, I think, answered most of, most of the questions that I was trying to deal with uh, in general and uh, uh, at, at that time in a very beautiful, smart, and didactic way, almost literal. Uh, so the artist basically just turned his back to the viewers and to, to the world, basically, and just decided to go back to nature and start celebrate the moment, artistically celebrate the moment of making a new work. We're not sure if there's actually a painting came out of this trip, of his trip in the, in the nature, but uh, this, is, this was not important in the painting, but the painting, the main thing in it is basically this moment when the artist decided to leave his studio and go out in the nature. So I decided to go back to the context of uh, art history and art history books, museum collections, and I came up with uh, six terms uh, normally used in, um, in, in this context to analyze certain artistic practice and uh, um, a body of work for an artist. The, the, and the, the works are based on, on these terms. Terms are process, detail, source, material, uh, exercise, composition. Um, here, this, this one is process, and this is, that's basically the work that started everything. And the way it's framed also, the, the material of the frame and the color, the texture, everything is also playing on this, playing on this idea of uh, uh, the time and this twist between the time and the medium and how the, the, the work itself is represented. Um, in general, back to the, going back to the idea of nature as a subject for, uh, for the work and uh, for an artistic practice, um, there's a place, and this was actually clear between, it was clear for me that I wanted to make a show on, based on a certain location in Alexandria called uh, Antoniedis, it's a public park. It's kind of a beautiful garden. Um, and this, in this place I used to go when I was a student, uh, when I was a student in Fine Art Academy in Alexandria studying painting, um, they used to send us as students to make assignments, uh, basically to uh, create uh, uh, drawings and paintings out of the nature and sculptures uh, in, uh, in the garden. Uh, I wanted to revisit this exercise, the location of the exercise itself as the, the park, and uh, and of course, it's a revisit this idea of nature as a subject for an artwork. Source is basically it's a it's a piece that somehow characterizing the research of uh, of the project in uh, in a formal way. Uh, the first one is I, I mean when when I was going through the research, I real, I found out that uh, there's a postgraduate student in the agriculture uh, faculty is uh, working on um, master's uh, dissertation, all dedicated on, for, for the park, about the park, the history of it, of it and, uh, wha and also to see how solutions to, to fix it and to make it better. 
uh, and and the, the the first plate is basically featuring the the the, the defense and the discussion of his dissertation. I mean, if any of you had a chance to go to the Museum of Modern Art here in Cairo, uh, you'll find many different paintings, uh, abstract paintings, mainly uh, titled composition. So composition was a subject and a title for many different historical uh, artworks uh, in the history of modern art in Egypt. The most uh, intriguing formal forms I have seen in, in um, in the park was uh, this, this amount, big amount of uh, empty pools and artificial lakes, uh, which are very, uh, very big, very empty, and generating many different kind of emotions and uh, ideas in your head when you see it without waters. This one is uh, called exercise and uh, exercise and material and um, they are very much connected to each other. It's a computer-generated image, completely fictional. It's, com it's a virtual canvas uh, that's hanged on uh, a white wall that is not the wall of the gallery, but it's also a fictional wall, so it's this double layer of uh, the fictionality of the material itself. I was just interested in this twist between the very... I mean, any painter can't can't make a painting, can't make an artwork without a materialistic canvas. Uh, another optical kind of uh, strategy uh, is exercise, and it's, a, it's basically it's a commissioned trompe-l'oeil painting for a marble sculpture. Uh, the, there's something interesting about this sculpture for me that it has, it's very difficult to tell if it's for a man or a woman, and this was always kind of, um, controversial decision when students decide to, uh, to choose to, to, to use it as a subject for their assignments because they never, um, achieve, they never succeed in um, achieving the subject of the work as if it's a masculinity or femininity. Uh, the last work is it's called a Memorial to Failure and it's again, it's a, it's a work about failure and mistakes uh, but, and monuments. Um, it's work that thinks about how can we ce celebrate failure uh, as a productive uh, mode uh, and, and also how to fail beautifully in a way. And uh, after, after this you enter the grey box and uh, there is this um, um, footage of um, um, a looping uh, telephonic uh, cable car trip. Um, basically, um, it's, it's a non-stop kind of trip. It's uh, just uh, the camera is going up and down all the time between mountains and uh, the footage is taken from Rio de Janeiro and uh, Beirut. Uh, and the, the, the voice is basically the, the answers of the philosopher about failure and the role of art in society and in power dynamic and also the relation between art and activism. And I consider this, I, I mean, this was the most old, this, this piece is not basically produced specially for the show, but I consider it as like the closing point for the circle of the show.